Hello Internet, it's the news again with Hajra Asaf Khan, a show where the news is always terrible. A pigeon suspected of spying for China was released by Indian law enforcement after no substantial evidence was found to support the allegations. <laughs> is not the first time that India has arrested pigeons on suspicions of espionage. Meanwhile, in Pakistan, election results are still being compiled. Remember when we said that the election commission is about to dig itself into a cycle of endless elections? One eternity later. Well, it's already begun. Several seats are being re-polled due to unsatisfactory results and in the meanwhile, some of the biggest names in the election cycle have announced that they quit politics altogether. But hey, that's politics for you. One day you're in, the next day you're out, and the day after that you're in again because they're repolling your seat. It's like a never-ending game of musical chairs. But the music is the death of public opinion. And the chairs are... Well, they're still chairs. They're just really, really fancy chairs in really fancy government buildings. And speaking of... Nawaz Sharif has revoked his candidacy for Pakistan's prime ministership and the news has caused him to lash out at subtweets online. Mr. Sharif has taken a dive at Kareem for asking Program Bandia because based on how the elections went Program to and Mr. Sharif is having a hard time dealing with the aftermath of delivering a victory speech Uh-oh. after losing on all objectives the party set for the election. In intakhabat mein Pakistan Muslim League noon sabse badi jamaat ban ke ubhri hai. Moving away from the region and zoning in on Europe. Germany, ladies and gentlemen, just held the Carnival, which is a time when people dress up, let loose and sometimes cross a line or two. Innocent bystanders at the festival were confronted with caricatures and images that were less ha-ha and more uh (laughs) uh-oh. The festival traditionally is a celebration of dissent and promotes speaking truth to power. But this year's parade has left a sauerkraut taste by making the subject of its ridicule a population that is currently being unalived at unprecedented rates. More than 200 unalivements per day, according to this international organization. Now, I don't know about you, but I personally feel like the removal of entire people from the world is something Germany should be a bit more sensitive about. You know, considering the wealth of historic experience that the country boasts of in the field. That's it for now. Tune in next week to see what's making the news again.